I was doing an outreach event at um, this uh, middle school up in Phoenix and the community that these like students come from, it's, it's like a smaller percentage of them will go to college. And when I told them that you can go to graduate school for free, they were all like, wow. So I had the, uh, the Ernest Wencher Scholarship from the Wencher Foundation. Uh, it's a foundation in Chicago being able to uh, basically make an investment in students to be able to make sure that they uh, succeed in college, they have promise. And I could never be more grateful. Uh, the Wencher Scholarship allowed me to come to ASU and be successful with my first couple of years and making sure that I had everything that I needed. They were a support structure. They were almost a family to me. And I think definitely for students that are going into their first year of college, they need that kind of support structure so that they feel at ease with what they're doing so that they can just keep on pursuing uh, you know, success, the things that they wanted to do. Coming into school, I was concerned how I was going to be able to financially afford four years of undergrad, and I was incredibly lucky to receive a New American University scholarship through ASU um, because I was a National Hispanic Scholar coming out of my high school, and that really allowed me to not have to focus on <laughs> getting a second job or you know student teaching or tutoring or something on the side, and really allowed me to focus on my studies um, and get good enough grades to then go into graduate school, which is what I knew I wanted to do. Um, and then while I was in graduate school, I was also very fortunate to have the support of a Dean's Fellowship for the four years of my graduate degree, um, which really helps just allow you to focus on the projects that you're doing and allowed me to graduate in four years, um, which is quite a compressed time for a PhD student. So I was quite lucky to have that opportunity here. I was accepted into the Next Generation Service Corps, that cohort was an amazing opportunity to study cross-sector leadership while my education here was being paid for while I studied graphic information technology. It was a game changer in my ability to be able to come back to school. And without that, I don't think I would have been here. It really made it to where I didn't have to worry about money and during my, my studies. And when you don't have to worry about money, you have a lot more focus on your classes and your uh, homework so you can do better and, and get that degree. I have not had the best um, past like family life. Um, my, uh, my dad passed away when I was nine, I, uh, but I've always stuck through with, um, uh, and my mom lost everything, but I always stuck through with school and it never really deterred that because you know that, that's always a saying that she told me and that my grandparents told me is stick with school, that'll get you somewhere. So, um, and that's what I do. I always kept a good grade and like almost 4.9, 3.9 in high school. So got me a good Obama scholarship. Um, I also got the Dean scholarship, um, I think, and then fast, the rest of it was covered with FAFSA. So I got a, I got a full ride here um, with uh, some extra. I received multiple um, scholarships during my undergraduate degree and they were really beneficial for me to be able to complete my degree and not have to work as much so I could be involved more in the classroom. They're really helpful for that so that I didn't have to work as much and that I was able to balance school and be able to be involved because if, um, you know, if I didn't have those awesome scholarships, then I would have to spend more time working, which would not allow me to participate as much in school. So I'm really grateful for all the donors that donated money so that I I could have scholarships.